Hello everybody, this is the Daydreamer with Daydreams and Nightmares, and it is time for the newest installment of my Welcome to My Collection Wednesdays. Sorry about my voice, I've been sick, but I know that I need to uh, make a few videos in order to keep them going. Um, as I've said in the past, um, a lot of my collection is from the 80s and 90s when I was collecting uh, books on a regular basis. So a lot of the ones that you wind up seeing from me are from that time period. Uh, back in the early 90s, 93, 94, uh, Marvel and DC finally started to see some competition from some other titles. You started to see companies like Dark Horse and Image and these guys right here pop up creating comic books at that time. Uh, what you're looking at is uh, the imprint from Malibu Comics called Ultraverse. What I'm going to be showing off today are the books that I have that are part of two superhero groups from that uh, run of books. Uh, first, you are looking at uh, f Freaks from uh, the Ultraverse imprint of Malibu Comics. And then uh, after I'm done with these, we'll be seeing some books that I have from the uh, other unusual group of superheroes from Ultraverse and Malibu Comics called The Strangers. Um, one of the things that they did uh, during the 90s is they did do some polybag uh, comic books like this one here. This is the first issue of Freaks. It did come with a coupon in here to actually get a, uh, it's called a wild coupon, along with some coupons that came in different comic books. You could send this in in order to get a, um, I believe it was Mantra Zero uh, with uh, Jim Lee, uh, limited edition uh, book. Uh, but I kept all of these sealed. I have all the cards. You have the cards in here as well. Uh, collectible cards, freaks here, the wild coupon, all still polybagged in this book. Um, one of these two, I said, I usually was in the habit of buying two, one so I could read, and one one of these two is opened up, and I've read it, uh, but I still do have the coupons and the cards with them. I do have, uh, like I said, one of these has been taken out but returned into the polybag that I, I did read it, and the other still is sealed inside that polybag, but... Uh, I have Freaks number one here, poly bag with a coupon and card in both of these. Uh, and also one special little treat as well. I do have also this here, and I should mention before I continue as well, this group of superheroes um, from all these books is from creators uh, Gerard Jones and Ben Herrera. Uh, this particular run of books had 18 issues in it. It's about a group of teenage superheroes. Uh, let's see, their names are Anything, Pressure, Sweet Face, uh, Cayman, Boom Boy, Plug, and AJ. Um, apparently, in this particular origin story, all of these are teenagers that are about the same age. Uh, they were all, as babies, injected with a substance which was basically a combination of a genetically mutated DNA and nanotechnology which basically gave them their superpowers. Uh, as I said, one of the creators of this is Ben Herrera. Uh, I believe um, he does some of the story and also pencils this. But uh, he is uh, also the one who signed this. It's signed down here by Ben Herrera. This particular, like I said, this is one as well. I still have the coupon and the card that came with it, but it does also have a certificate of authenticity uh, for the book as well, like I said. But once again, that's signed by Ben Herrera. So I, I do actually have three copies, this one being a signed one. The other two I've already showed you. Uh, this is Freaks number two. Oh, and the other guy on here who was involved with quite a few of them is also uh, Mike Christian, who's a colorist, I believe. But you'll see, as I said, uh, most of these are signed here. you got Herrera on this one here as well. And like I said, most of these, I bought several copies of these. Uh, one to read, one to save. 
So I have two copies of this one. This is Freaks number three. Once again, two copies of this. Freaks number three. Freaks number four. Now it does look like for this particular one we did uh, the uh, Ben Herrera is not involved but Gentleman by Williams instead on this one as well. But they are also doing some uh, cross promotion with another comic in their line called Rune by Barry Windsor Smith. I have two copies of this. Freaks number five. Jones, Herrera, and Welch. See, it looks like Herrera did the cover here. Actually, this is one of the covers I really like. This would be Freaks number five. And Freaks number six, this one is featuring um, Nightman, another one of their characters. Uh, Herrera and Rodriguez and Jones, and it looks like uh, Rodriguez and Herrera are both, uh, did the cover here. Uh, they also had a storyline crossover breakthrough, uh, which they did across the board on all of their uh, different titles that they had with this. Uh, if if it was entitled Breakthrough, it's actually different characters from different stories and different lines all were part of. They basically took their entire Altiverse and kind of did a crossover with, with a lot of the different storylines and characters with this. And it looks like in this particular one that they're featuring Nightman. And then we have Freaks number 7. There's Origins Part 1, Pressure, so they started actually doing some, um, going and looking at the storylines or origins of some of the characters, but this happened to be the last one that I had picked up. Uh, but this, like I said, this particular uh, storyline went through about 18 different issues, including some appearances and crossovers with other storylines as well. But this is also, like I said, mid-90s is when I stopped collecting as well. So this is the last issue I have of Freaks. But I did say I was going to show you another group of superheroes from Malibu Comics. Part of the Altiverse. This group is the Strangers. There we go. Now, the Strangers were created by Steve Englehart and Rick Holberg, and I see his name a lot on a lot of these covers. Um, this this group of uh, superheroes actually had 24 issues in their run. Uh, apparently, it was a group of random strangers. I'm going to assume, um, well, they were on a cable car that was apparently struck by lightning, but we find out it wasn't actually lightning. It was something called... Uh, the quick start. It's basically quick started their DNA to turn them into an ultra is what they're calling on them. Uh, the superheroes that they've become in, in their powers. Uh, their characters are Adam Bob, Electrocute, Grenade, Lady Killer, Spectral, Uriel, and Zip Zap. But when I look at some of these two I see, you know, this one I see Havoc and this one is Basically a version of Flash, and this one is a, for, a version of what I see as, you know, Cloak and Dagger being, you know, Dagger. Um, anyway, but it's, it's, the, uh, uh, Strangers is the, Alta, uh, the Altiverse Malibu Comics version of a group of strangers coming together and becoming a superhero team because of the event that created them, essentially. Uh, unlike the other one where they were basically injected with a with a and turned into uh, freaks because of the genetics and the and the nanotechnology. This one was by uh, other means. But anyway, I I digress here. Anyway, uh, 
So we are looking at strangers number one. And of course, I've got two issues of this as well. And as before, um, these are part of a uh, group of comic books that were sent out with cards in them along with the coupons. Uh, so they'll have the uh, uh, Malibu Ultraverse cards and all of these as well as a coupon in the book. And this was number two. And Hard, hard Case, which is another character in the line of uh, these comic books character here on this one issue number two issue number three of the strangers again uh, Rick Holberg is doing the covers number three two copies of that Strangers number four. And the second copy of that. Strangers number five versus Death Wish, which is one of their primary villains that they faced in the series of. Uh, the Strangers, that was their, their big villain that they uh, dealt with, but this is probably the introduction of that character, Death Wish. Uh, this happened to also be a 40-page special issue of this book, and once again, a, a teaser to the uh, Barry Windsor Smith's Rune. And I've got two copies of that. Now we did jump from five all the way up to eight. I do not have uh, six or seven. I believe it could be. Yep, I don't have six or seven in this. I did have a little bit of an accident while moving. I may those may have been one of the ones. I had some that dropped out in the middle of a rainstorm. Bottom went out on a box full of uh, comic books and fell out in the rain. And I did lose a few in that. Um, managed to salvage some, keep them from getting wet, but uh, I believe that's how I lost these two. Uh, uh, with number, uh, going from number five to number eight, so I lost six and seven. This is number eight. We have number nine of the strangers. Number 10. Number 10. Second copy. Apparently I don't have a number 11 either. And we skipped to number 12. This is last copy that I have this is the anniversary issue first year end of first year of the strangers uh, it goes up to issue 24 so they do go for one more year um, that is it those are all the books that I have that are part of the freaks and the strangers from Malibu comics hope you enjoyed this if you uh, like my videos please hit like subscribe if you want to watch more feel free to leave any comments or feedback down below and thank you for watching